Hey guys, welcome back to another Reloader Joe video. We are out here at the bullet wall. This is going to be our third bullet wall update. It is complete now. It's finished. Uh, so we're going to show it to you, show you what we did. Uh, come on over here. Um, we, we have the, I think the last update, we uh, just had the, the wall, but we put the uh, stuff in front of the wall so we could hang the, uh, those 24 inch square uh, steel, AR500 steel. Uh, two of them are half inch thick and the other two are three eighths. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what it looks like now. I, I was gonna cut off the ends up there yeah, I'll stand in front of you to kind of give you an idea how tall it is. Anyway, I was going to cut these off, but they're all greasy and sealed on the end, and I don't want to do a fresh cut and have rain on there, so I'm going to leave them like that. Maybe they'll last longer. Um, but here you can, we've uh, uh, screwed these in <laughs> to the, we've screwed them in both this way and down on this one at least yeah i guess we didn't do it on that one. Oh well it's not going anywhere um and we used uh these were like 18 inch lag screws and then up here and here what we did was we uh took four was it 36 inch long threaded rod and big washers and i got an auger an auger bit <laughs> that was long enough and drilled straight through and then hammered that in and then we squeezed everything together because you know it wasn't perfectly lined up yeah um but now it, it's all squeezed together and it's perfectly up and down it's not leaning side to side front to back or anything um but yeah and down here you can see how we hung these we just put big eyes in there that screwed in and then we've got some uh, you know a carabiner and a, a quick link <laughs> yep. so, there we go oh yeah that's what it looks like how we have about uh i don't know 55 or more um tire uh, railroad ties in here I saw your finger there. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, that's it. That's it. It's done. We're going to leave it like this. We put the steel up so when we're shooting, the bullets hit the steel and they don't tear into the railroad ties. Not that the bullet's going to go through both, <laughs> both, you know, layers of railroad tie, but the last thing I want is for a railroad tie on the very bottom to get all shot out and have to be replaced because we're we don't want to have to remove all of these to replace one at the bottom so this is just gonna you know make the uh railroad ties last that much longer so that'd be a pain having to take all the top ones off yeah i don't know what we'd do in that case yeah it was hard enough to get them over the because <laughs> we sunk we, we drilled holes and put the and concreted these into the ground first, both sides, and then we lifted them up with the tractor and, and dropped them in there and lined them up. And even using the tractor, just hoisting them off the tractor and getting them lined up side to side was hard enough. <laughs> They're pretty heavy. They were brand new, so they were really heavy. Um, but yeah, that's that's our bullet wall now. Yep. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> People have been asking about it. Uh, so we're going to start doing some more uh, uh, videos, and this is what we're going to be shooting up against. So you'll see it in the in videos uh, coming up. So anyway, uh, that's what we got for today. Uh, maybe we'll have some more videos out soon. We're going to start working on the channel again. Yep. Uh, we've got more stuff to shoot. We got to shoot the your gun and your sister's gun, don't we, Graham? Yeah. For deer season this fall. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them. You know, fill, do do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks.